this is uh, Dave from uh, VideoFXUniverse.com and um, today's tutorial was how to blow up a planet in 3D Studio Max 9. Um, I've been um, asked to do this tutorial by quite a few people and I've finally got around to doing it. Now if you've learned how to uh, create a planet Earth using my previous tutorial um, you should have something like this there you go, it's not perfect but it's a very very good uh, lightness of uh, the planet Earth complete with glow um, right what we want to do is uh, go over to um, your um, create panel here um, go to uh, the standard primitives click on the slider and what we want to do is click on the particle system then we want to select the P array which is particle array. Okay, you want to go right into the top viewport here. We want to drag it in. Okay, and there we have it. Right. Okay. In the um, basic parameters um, area here, we want to click on pick object. Okay. Right. And then you want to go up to um, this button here, which selects any objects in the scene, or you can do it by pressing H and I want to click on the surface okay then we we'll click on the pick okay now that's just assigned this to be the uh, object that explodes okay nothing's going to happen just yet so we just need to uh, tweak it a bit more right open up the particle type slider okay and we want to change um, this to object fragments and then we want to go down to here and change the thickness to 11 okay <clears throat> now we need to change the uh, amount of chunks now because the earth is a very very big thing we're going to change this to around about 200 <clears throat> now this all depends on your computer um, how powerful it is because the more chunks you use the more RAM it's going to use up and the slower it will be to render okay so uh, you do have to be careful of that right because that's not what we want so we go up to right up to the top here uh, right into our uh, basic parameters and choose a mesh and there you go. As we as we see now, we now have um, chunks of the planet coming out. Okay. So just go down the back here again and make sure we choose uh, get material. Okay. And we're going to select service. And there you go. It will now change into uh, the pieces uh, from the planet Earth. Okay. Now this will not work if your object is grouped. Um, so basically, if you've got um, planet Earth and you've got multiple layers grouped into one object, you have to ungroup it all and just select the one object. Otherwise, this will not work. Okay. Um, but obviously, we have another problem as well. As you can see, as we've got the fragments out here, we still have the Earth underneath, and the explosion looks a bit too um, spherical, really, doesn't it? It's, it's not random. And it's not chunks flying out everywhere in different directions and different speeds okay so we're going to sort that now okay what we want to do is uh, open up the rotation and collision okay we want to change the spin time to 50 okay we want to open up the object motion inheritance and change the uh, influence to zero now we're going to uh, select how long the explosion lasts for okay so what we want to do is try and find particle generation open that one up right this is where we uh, we, we start the um, actual explosion now at default the explosion starts right at zero but we don't want that so we will we'll try and start it around about 20 okay so start the emitter at 20 okay and it's really up to you how long you want this to last for. I mean, if you if you want it to uh, last for just a hundred frames, uh, the explosion is not going to be very big. So if we just open this up a bit more, okay, uh, we're gonna, I don't know, we'll change it to two hundred, okay, and then what we want to do is uh, change the uh, the life of it to I don't know, one hundred and eighty, right? Okay. Basically, what this will do is. Um, cause the explosion fragments to last a hell of a lot longer right okay so that's that's uh, that's quite effective but as you can see they all disappear at frame 100 so we need to change that 
to 200 okay now what will happen if we keep going the fragments still um, show on the screen there see now what we want to do is um, keyframe the planet Earth to disappear as soon as the explosion ex um, kicks in. So basically um, it's, it kicks in from frame number 20. So what we want to do is go to keyframe 19, set auto key, um, then we go up to here, we want to select the atmosphere, the clouds and the surface, select set a keyframe go to number 20 uh, right click object properties and change this the rendering control to zero okay right what this is has done I set a keyframe for the actual um, planet to disappear at the second when the explosion kicks in right so if we go forward a few keyframes even though it's uh, you can see it in the viewport here if I click on render there we go we don't actually have it anymore in the background okay what you also have to do is go to the very first keyframe here um, right click object properties make sure that that's set to uh, 1.0 so it is okay um, and again go up to 19 object properties and again you have to you have to redo this okay so 1.0 okay 